Meghan rocking New York visit with Prince Harry in her glittering outfits. Between their royal exit and welcoming a new baby not to mention a pandemic. It's been a long time since we've seen Prince Harry and Meghan out and about together. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their first joint public appearance. Since welcoming daughter Lilibet in June, jetting across the US to visit New York. The trip, which culminated in the Global Citizen Live Festival, gave us a good look at how Meghan's personal style has continued to evolve. Since the couple resigned as senior working members of the British royal family in early 2020, the Duchess wore several eye-catching outfits for the couple's New York outings. Well and truly leaning into one of her go-to styling tricks monochrome dressing. The Duke and Duchess headed to the One World Trade Center, where they were joined by New York Governor Kathy Hutchell. And Mayor Bill de Blasio, along with his wife Charlene McRae and son Dante. Embracing the cooler weather on the East Coast, Meghan went monochrome, wearing a navy Giorgio Armani coat. Turtleneck and trousers with navy suede heels from Aquas Euro, one of the go-to footwear brands. Jewelry-wise, the Duchess wore the diamond Cartier stud earrings she wore for her wedding to Harry in 2018. As well as her tank watch from the luxury label. The pair's second outing on Thursday saw Meghan in another fabulous, classic coat. The Duchess paired a black turtleneck with a black pencil skirt from Roland Murat. Finishing the look with a camel-colored Max Mara wool coat, black Armani heels, tortoiseshell Valentino sunglasses and a Velextra handbag. Lady in red, Meghan pulled out another gorgeous and autumnal monochrome look for a visit to a primary school in Harlem. The former actress, who read her children's book The Bench to Year Two Students at the PS 123 Mahalia Jackson School, teamed her loose-fitting pants and cashmere coat from Italian label Loro Piano with matching dark red heels from Manolo Blahnik. Beneath the coat, she wore a matching Loro Piano knitted top and belt in the same red shade. Again, she wore her gold Cartier watch with bracelets from Cartier and Jennifer Meyer. There's no denying this is a royal who loves to dress tonally. For her meeting with the United Nations Deputy Secretary General Amin Mohammed, Meghan went for an all-down ensemble. Teaming her Max Mara coat with a light brown shirt and pants from the label. With the Manolo Blahnik heels we last saw in her 40th birthday video. For the pinnacle event of Harry and Meghan's New York visit, the Global Citizen Live Festival. The Duchess wore a decidedly unroyal garment, a mini dress. The mum of two opted for a white embellished sheath design from Valentino, teaming it with black heels. It was a fun look for Meghan, after dressing in a relatively conservative manner during her years as a working senior royal. On her way to the event, Meghan was photographed wearing a black coat and a scarf over her outfit. Addressing the audience during the festival, Meghan and Harry delivered a call to action on vaccination and other pressing world issues. Are we prepared to do what is necessary to end this pandemic? Harry asked, kicking off the speech, with Meghan adding. There is so much that we can do today, now, that can get us closer to ending this pandemic and that's why we're all here. We are battling more than the virus alone. This is a battle of misinformation, bureaucracy, lack of transparency, and lack of access, and above all, this is a human rights crisis, the Duke continued. Every single person has a fundamental right to get this vaccine that's the point, but that's not happening, Meghan added. Meghan and Prince Harry's final series of engagements as working senior royal family members continues tonight. With the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepping out for their most formal event so far, the Mountbatten Festival of Music. Harry dressed sharply in a suit while Meghan wore a red gate dress and matching red suede heels and red clutch. Her hair was down. Meghan was all smiles, entering while holding hands with Harry, who wore red royal attire. The Duchess of Sussex, royal patron of the National Theatre, visited the immersive storytelling studio in London, where emerging technology like virtual reality is being used to develop new forms of emotive storytelling. Sussex Royal's Instagram captioned the series of images. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex also visited Stanford University, where part of their learning journey included a virtual reality presentation that allows the user to experience life through another person's point of view. The goal of this method of virtual reality is to enable us to better connect and empathize with each other as people, regardless of race, age or nationality. 
The Duchess is pictured here with Nubuaya Brandon and her hologram. Featured in the Nationals exhibition All Kinds of Limbo, which is currently being presented at the Tate Modern. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.